Hi everyone, this is the Hardware Hacking Team from Opal Security. And today we are going to use the Artsploit board to play with an uh, SPI memory. Uh, this kind of chip is very common and can be found pretty much everywhere. Here's the scenario, let's say we have uh, unsoldered this chip from some home automation device and we want to recover pieces of information that could be inside. So here's the plan. First, we need to know what we're facing. So we have a chip with eight pins. And uh, so the first step is to find the datasheet. It's called fingerprinting. Then we need to add the component to Artsploit. And that done, we will connect the chip to Artsploit. So the step number three, the wiring. And finally, we will dump its content. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to get the reference of the chip, which will lead us to its datasheet. Ok, let's search for the datasheet. It contains all the information you need, you will rely on it a lot. We are not going to explain everything you can find in it, as it will take days, but it's a very useful document. So what do we need exactly? Package information, characteristics and pins. Let's start with the package. It's a SOIC with 8 pins, it looks rectangular. Next, characteristics, manufacturer, type, name and voltage. And finally, the pins. In the second column, select SPI. Notice that we only need 4 of the available pins, which are CS, CLK, MOSI and MISO. Of course, we will have to wire the alimentation pins, but we don't need to precise it here. We can leave the others blank, or set them to NA, but the program will do this by itself. The MISC tab is here to let you write notes about the chip, and is optional. Let's finish by clicking Add. The chip has appeared in the main window. Now let's wire the chip to Artsploit. This is the wiring helper window. It's really simple and resolves the datasheet's image of the chip. We just have to click the pin we want to connect, and ta-da, we have to wire CS on the first pin of Asploit. Now, just repeat this for the others. Everything is now wired up, let's dump the content. Select the chip and the command action. The command array is empty, because we just created the component but we don't need commands to dump. We need the memory size, its frequency, supported modes and read command. So where to find this? In the datasheet, as usual. So we can go at 25 MHz. Mode 0 will suffice and the read command is 3. We are good to go. Click on the full dump button, choose a name and let the magic happen. We see that Artsploit is processing behind. It lets us know when it's done. We can now check the content of the file. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Now, can we change the password? For this particular chip, we will need to follow four steps. Enable the writing, erase the memory, enable the writing again, and then write the new password. It can seem a bit difficult at first, but everything is explained in the datasheet. Let's create the write enable command. Enter the name and description. Then go to the bytes tab. Here is located the array of bytes that will be sent. In the datasheet, the 8 bits are described like this. So in order to enable the writing of this chip, we must send it in a, in a byte, which value is 6. Click add to confirm the command. Then the sector arrays. Same as before, we take back the datasheet. We see that there are 4 bytes to send. The first one is the command, and the three others are the address bytes. 
So we have to create a new command that will send d8, 0, 0, and 0. And finally, the password changing command. We have to write password again, as it will be erased with the sector erase command. So let's see the datasheet to know how to write in this chip. We have the command byte, three address bytes, and then the values we want to be inserted in the memory. Let's do this. First, write enable, then sector erase, write enable again, and finally the password changing command. Now dump again, and let's see if we have actually changed the password. Great, we changed the password. Now we can put the memory back where it belongs. That's it, the work is done. In a few steps with Artsploit and the datasheet, we were able to efficiently and quickly interact with the chip. Thanks for watching! If you want to know more about Artsploit, you can check out our website at artsploit.io.